Welcome. The following instructional video will show you how to install the multi-rip GP direct to garment rip software. If you want you can go ahead and download this software. When you download the software I recommend you save it to your desktop and when you save it to your desktop you're going to see an icon similar to this show up. The name of the file will be multi-rip underscore GP the series version of whatever one we downloaded underscore cd.exe. I want you to go ahead and double click on that icon. It's going to ask you if you want to run it and you will click run. If you're running Windows Vista you might see a, a warning show up and you'll have to agree to do that. There's also a warning message that shows up that requires you to have all of the previous versions of the multi GP software uninstalled as well. Go ahead and click OK and then click on the unzip to run the self extractor. Periodically throughout this video you will see me pause it to save the time and space on this video. After the self extractor has been done you'll see it will tell you it's unzipped the file successfully. Go ahead and click OK and it will automatically open up the install window for multi-rip. What you want to do now is go ahead and click on the install, remove and repair multi-rip GP and it will begin the install shield wizard. This will be the wizard that will help us install multi-rip GP. From here you want to go ahead and click on the next button we are going to have to agree to the license, so go ahead and click yes. Here's where you want to type in your username and your company name. And then also go over here and type in your serial number. Your serial number is going to be the 16 digit product code that shows up on the inside of your CD case or is also provided to you in your instruction manual. Once you put in your 16 digit serial number you'll go ahead and click on the next button. Once you've clicked on the next button you'll now come to a window that tells you to select your print drivers. What you'll need to do is scroll through the different list down here are the ones that have not already been selected. The ones that have been selected need to remain selected. But you need to choose which of the printers that MultiWeb GP runs that you are going to install. Go ahead and click on whatever that printer is and go ahead and click the next button. From here you just go ahead and continue to click next and it will go through the install process. For this portion of it I am going to pause the video to save the time on this video. Okay we're going to pick back up as the install wizard finishes up. It's now going to ask us what print cues we want to go ahead and select and you can see it will automatically have the one selected based on the previous ones. You can double check it. Just go ahead and click on continue. And then you're going to have a series of windows pop up just letting you know that different print queues have been installed on your printers and faxes folder. All you have to do is just continue to hit OK. Now what's going to happen is if your printer is already connected to your computer and you have the Epson print driver already installed for your printer and automatically detect what port it is running off of. If it doesn't detect a port, a lot of times it will default to LPT1. If that is the case, there is a video on how to set your ports up correctly. So that way when you send a file through the RIP, it will go to the printer. If it doesn't go to the printer, it probably means that your ports are not set correctly. There is a video on this. Please watch this video. In this case it's automatically detected it for us so we'll just go ahead and click continue. It's, asking us, it's going to ask us to do this for the different ports that we have hooked up. It'll finish up the install process. Once it's done it's going to ask us if we want to restart our computer. You will need to restart your computer before you begin to use the RIP. So go ahead and click on the yes button and click on the finish button. If you have more questions, please visit www.multiripusers.com. Thank you.